welcome back to the next Let's Play episode of God of War Ragnarok. This is your boy, Cold-Blooded. Um, we're here out just outside of Sindri's house. Uh, pretty much directly after a big, big, big scene. Um, we find out that this whole time, Tyr has been Odin in disguise. Uh, and that P.O.S. done, I believe he killed Smurfy Brock, which... Uh, he was my favorite character, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you know, besides Kratos and Atreus. I loved his little humor, his quirks, uh, just everything about him. He was, to me, he was a really well done character. And it looks like he's gone. At least, I don't know, Sindri took him somewhere. I'm assuming he's dead. So, we are... Now, apparently going to leave because I guess this hurt Kratos as well. He's just like, I'm done with this fight, apparently. And he told Atreus, come on, we're going. And Atreus, I think, was like, where? He just said, we're leaving. So that's what we're going to do. Don't know where it's going to take me, but we're going to leave. Father? Where are we going? Oh. Okay. Midgard? Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. Oh, he looks he looks so sad. I have a feeling he feels really <clears throat> excuse me, not just defeated, but like is that ashamed the right word? Like he honestly was swindled. I mean they all were, but he was so sure. The whole time he went through the mines, he was just like, we gotta keep searching. I mean, he even ran his mouth to Kratos about it, you know, like what, told him to knock it off or something? Hmm. Like, Kratos just followed. And then it turned out that Tyr was Odin the whole time. But what a way to infiltrate the enemy, so to speak. What do we hunt? Beer. Which way we headed, lad? In the direction of deer. Yeah, Atreus is really shooken up. He needs a hug. Where are we going? Took us to the sled? But I forgot about this little area. Yeah, so that was... Do you wish to speak of what happened? I think I heard something. This way. Yeah, he probably doesn't even know what to say. He just needs space. No, he needs a hug. But... Here. Tracks. They're leading that way. But yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I even think it shook up Kratos a lot, too. I mean, because, you know, that whole thing with Kratos, the mermaid, Brock, having Brock bless the spear, being the great blacksmith that he was. Atreus, violence changes us. You are not weak to feel its effects. We're all feeling its effects. Right? We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. Oh. I keep seeing it. The knife, Brock, Sindri's face. Son. There it is. Oh, 
Elbow up. Accuracy over speed. Why? <clears throat> that was running. And so are we. I don't understand. If an animal is wounded, it must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded in this. This is a distraction. I get it. It's my fault. No. No. We should find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm gonna say to him. Of course. <clears throat> so he's somewhere in Midgard then, you say, huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So I guess what Kratos is trying- Everywhere I look, oh. I'm reminded of my mistakes. Oh, the bear. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. Oh, yeah. So what Kratos was saying is that when the animal's wounded and it like it just keeps running and it bleeds out basically, and he's saying that Odin basically injured them and now they're running and bleeding, and Odin's waiting for them to kind of bleed out so to speak and just forget about the whole thing. But if I'm not mistaken, they still have the mask, if I right? Just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. Well, I would assume they can't control it when other gods are in play. But, you know, he does make a good point. There is no way in seeing that. Maybe, maybe us. It's Becky. Maybe us, um as the audience Girl. playing the game. <clears throat> Could have seen through the deception. I'll have to go back and watch videos. I'm sure there's stuff all over YouTube about it. We gotta open the gate, that's right. We can take the sled when you're ready. Well, I don't know what else we're gonna do. Pretty much lost, we couldn't even run during that whole time. Almost. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. Okay. So go through there. Alright. Okay. You gotta go ah! there. Oh, so he must be at the... At their old shop. Mimir. Is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Andrew did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like rocks, leaves, its corporeal form, ah! it can't reach the lake of souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. Oh. There's nothing to bring back. He's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. I know. Well, oh, I'd hope so. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. No, it's not. It's not. It's never stupid to hope. We learned that, and was that God of War three? Was it <clears throat> with Athena and the 
Pandora's box, letting out hope. All right, straight ahead. I think we have to take the Please elevator up. Leave the still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. Aye. They'll follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. Good point. The lift at the end of the bridge is still work. Yeah. We can get up to the temple that way. You got a good point. Kratos left. And came here. Still having issues and problems. I'm guessing Mimir did the same thing. Because if I'm not mistaken, he left his original homeland too. I just still can't. Smurfy Brock's gone. Why'd they have to treat Smurfy Brock like that? Man, even in the snow. Is... What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited, reforging something that broke. He'll be here. What I was going to say is, like, this area is still, even in the snow, the bridge, it's still gorgeous. Sindri, I... I'm so sorry. No. No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. So would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. Oh. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship. My home. My secrets. My treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We... There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... is get the fuck out of my sight! Come on, Chase. More than you wish. Is that Brock's hammer? Huh? Yeah, Sindri's. I was gonna say he. I. He's got to be we angry too. for sure. We were. Bye, Smurfy Brock. We'll see you in the next life, buddy. Let's go, bud. All right, let's go, son. There's no making this right. 
Is there? No. But I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we get back, we're... we really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. Oh. When... Sorry, I just wanna... what are we doing now? We were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr. This isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know Atreus. We know. Right? I mean... No one wanted that. We really took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart what's said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. Right? I mean... It wasn't like you... Demanded anything. Like... He came across us on our journey saying, hey, look, you're going to need this. You're going to need this. <clears throat> but I get it. I mean, it's not like we really gave him anything back in return. I know we should go see Freya. But I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard for a little while. Aye. A few last adventures to take our minds off the state of... Well, everything. Um. I mean, we have two undiscovereds. There's an undiscovered up there. Right. How do we get up to there? Oh, yeah. Man, he really does feel bad. <laughs> Got an undiscovered? find anything. We should just continue on with the story. Could have sworn I've been all the way through up here. Just a quick way down. Yeah, even if it's a little bit to reflect upon what happened. I mean, they just went through a lot. They're feeling a loss because now they, not only did they lose Brock, but apparently Sindri is now like totally against them, which I, I don't blame. Like honestly, I really don't blame. Is it up here? It would. There isn't too much more to look for. Is 
we go down and we're going to take the shortcut which is this way so apparently you can go up but you can't go down there's nothing do we have to trigger something? We've got the chest. Oh, baffled. I'm assuming it's going to be one of the flowers. Which I didn't see that anywhere in what we're looking for. Nope. Uh, like I said, we've already been... Been through. What a waste. Yeah, nor near chest. Back to the wolves. Somewhere around here that I. I don't get it. No, sir. Yeah, then it picks through the Lake of the Nine, which is undiscovered. Which, oh my gosh, this area is huge. Yeah, we're going back to Freya. I want a side quest, but not like this. There are a couple places I do want to go. So we're going to go see what we can do. With Brock gone and Sindri mad, how are we gonna upgrade anything from now? Sindri's. Oh, we can travel? Alright, well, we will do some side questing. Yes, we will. We're gonna do something real quick. I wanna go. Vanaheim. Because <clears throat> I've been... There's a hell tear here, I want to say. And I'm going to guess we're going to want to go here because every, almost every hell tear I want to say that we've come across has been somewhere near the beginning of where you started. Uh, I think the last one we did was in Svartlheim. And that was in the wetlands uh, when you're on your way to the city at first. So I believe this is where we began the mission here. So we're going to go here. Because I do want to get something done. Take my mind off of the whole Brock thing. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the forefront of the uh, game from here on out. Just because it's going to be there. What do you call it? Their motivation. I mean, not like they don't have any, like, like that's their only motivation. Because Odin's a P POS. All right, so we are looking for one of those tears. <clears throat> one more realm tear over there. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> It's actually in the very, very beginning. All right. Oh, come on, where's your 
your black button, buddy. Oh, he's healing. Find you. Look at him. R3, this is cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take that. Any time now, Atreus. Any time. There we go. Good. I am glad. Well, yeah. how about that? I'm glad too. Feels good to fix my mistakes. <laughs> Should we tell Rossbugger? Perhaps. Nice. Four. Nice. We can finally upgrade our Leviathan X. That's why I wanted to find this thing. All right, we only got one more undiscovered to go. There's another thing I want to complete that I know of. And I think I remember where I saw it. Oops, gotta go this way. Yes, yes. But now with Brock and Sindri gone, how are we gonna upgrade? Okay. No. I think, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember, it was somewhere up here. I, I know we got Berserkers up here, but I think our, we have one more ingredient to find uh, for that thing in Midgard where we were collecting the four ingredients. We're, it's basically where all those heart symbols were. And if I remember, I think it's somewhere over here. There's a symbol like that. So we'll probably be able to find that last ingredient. So we'll do that. And then we'll go back to uh, Freya. Him out. Okay, yeah. So long. No joke. Planting a raven in the broom closet was audacious enough. He also had to keep us from looking inside while he was away in Asgard. That addled act of his, the damage he performed, all a story crafted to render it beyond questioning how long he'd spend locked away in there. <laughs> he counted on us to be sympathetic instead of skeptical. I'll never believe compassion is a weakness, but he sure used it as one. <laughs> okay, we're looking for a symbol. The Berserker Gravestone. Prepare for another fight. No, not yet. Goodies. Carbon, the last ingredient we need. Ha ha. One more ingredient around here, brother. I thought he was going to lift it up. It's been a while. Ooh. 
the meeting of Yari and Soma. Ah, right. So the two agree traveling together might be beneficial. And way less lonely. Aye. Their bond with each other grew quickly, and the meals they shared became legendary. It was said that to dine with them could sustain you for weeks. That was the last of the ingredients. Can we take huh. them back to the cauldron in Midgard? Yeah, let's see what we can get from this. We're not gonna fight the Berserker. No, 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 no. There it is. Father, I'm worried about Thor. Why? Last time you fought, you couldn't beat him. What happens when we meet him again? What will be different from last time? Last time, you were not with me. Wow. Thanks. Ah, good point. <laughs> all right. Sorry for all the realm jumping, but we're going to realm jump again to Midgard. And we want to go... to the King's Grave. So with Namir's story, he said that this couple, ah, uh, sorry, did I say, there's a Berserker Gravestone? Alright, but, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Namir said that whoever dined with these people were, was it, like, full? So we want to beat you up. So I wonder what this is going to give us. said that Yari and Somer first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Wait, what? H how did they get there? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. What about the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somer had found it in each other. Nice, nice. That can't be it. Ooh, a delicious creation that warms the body, soul, permanently increases all stats by five. Okay, that was a well. All stats, so my all my stats up there. Strength, defense, runic, vitality, cooldown. All that went up by five. Awesome. Our axe is only level six? All right. So, with that being said, we're gonna cut this episode here. Sorry for all the random side questing. I just felt like it was needed uh, to give these characters a break before moving on. Uh, they definitely needed to grieve a little bit over Brock, have a couple last adventures, even though they weren't much. Um, but it, it definitely gave us some goodies, so I'm glad we did it. Uh, only to become more powerful. So, on that note, we'll cut this episode, and until next time, peace.